had tremendous amounts of videos. And I'm going to uh, say that Wayne does Fanner does a great job with his videos. Thanks, Judge Wright. We love a shout out here at Dolce Fino Consulting because it's great for business. Man, I love me some Wayne Dolce Fino. And you've always told me that transparency is what you're all about. You can ask anybody that I've always told the truth. I've always told them to do what's right in the eyes of the law. Great. So why were you so mad the other day that we show taxpayers the resume of a public official? Who cares? Everyone in Angelina County pays his darn salary. It should have been public record before he was even hired. And you even accuse County Commissioner Kenneth Jeffrey of being our snitch. I've never met the guy. That's not the way it's supposed to work. Well, I that's not transparency, Judge. That is transparency. It is not. What is wrong? Are you the he one who did not. The information out? No, I did not. But I sure talked about it. Did you give but, a resume out? No, but it's on there. I'm sort of glad it's out there because uh -huh. it's transparency. You have a damn good day. It was the resume of James McMullen, the county road administrator who violated state bidding laws trying to buy some used tractors from a company whose owner was a reference on that resume when he got the county job as road boss. But you know not going out for a bid is illegal. Why did you do it? McMullen is part of what amounts to a broken promise to taxpayers who voted years ago to stop commissioners from picking road projects, thinking that a full-fledged engineer would end the obvious political corruption and asphalt favoritism. McMullen isn't an engineer, but that wasn't really a secret, even before our big resume leak. And then someone in the county decided they were gonna share that information and they sent that information out in order to stir up, I guess, some type of chaos in the county. The Angelina County Watchdog Group are now asking real tough questions. Who's responsible for the road and bridge oversight? McMullen has been in the county two years and doesn't even know how to buy stuff. When we confronted him a few days ago, he was hardly reassuring for a guy who operates a $4.8 million budget. Yeah, we're learning on this as we go along. I'm not a county guy. I never worked for county government. Let me tell you something. There there's appears to be a coordinated effort to get rid of the road administrator. They want to get rid of the road administrator because they want to be proven right. Maybe you folks in and around Lufkin shouldn't be complaining that more than 70% of your roads are poor or very poor. Judge Wright says it's like that everywhere in Texas. I can take you to 254 counties. That's how many counties are in this state. And I could show you the same problems. I could show you a drainage problem. This is absolutely has to be taken care of. I could show you bad roads. If We're not talking about roads. Together. We're talking about the tractors, the bidding process. How many roads have you? I've been? driven down How 700 many? miles of county roads. I think you said enough right there. Okay. I told you I had about half. <laughs> the tractor bid the county issued to try to clean up the mess and the cover up of McMullen's screw up was finally passed, even though it was wrong too. So they're basically saying you folks out there need to hush up because the politicians they really know how to best to spend your money. I just stop being offended and causing chaos in the, in the county, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't do that. Like questioning how a county commissioner got brand new paved roads around his house right after he switched his testimony in a case. Other streets in his neighborhood got nothing. Or how county commissioner Terry Pitts claimed he used up all the asphalt he bought, but only paved half the roads he said he would and how records explaining it all just appeared out of nowhere. That's why we came to Angelina County in the first place, to kick some asphalt. We built 20 miles of road last year. That hasn't been done in 18 years. This next year, our goal is to build 40 miles of road. But many of those roads aren't being paved with asphalt anymore. Are they being paved to last? Stay tuned. You're not the first public official out there to accuse us of causing chaos. We've been called a lot worse names, like media terrorists. We're especially popular with the politicians. 
I mean, well, I don't have time to talk to you. I'm Contribute. not going to answer any of your questions, what, Mr. Del Tofino. I don't have time to fool with you. Lawyers love us too. I, I think that you are a horribly unethical man. But it's really helped us grow our business when investigative journalism, to be honest, is dying. We have tens of thousands of followers on Facebook and other social media. And it's good to know that deep down inside, Judge, you're a fan too and really want to see more. Y'all do a great job. Keep it up. Try to keep Wayne in line. That Judge, well, it's not likely to happen.